Um, okay, this is the last segment of book six you have to read. Um, Sunt. There are twin gates of sleep, or of dreams. So this is going to be the exit of Aeneas and the Sibyl. Of which, um, one of them is said, or is, is said to be um, made of horn. Um, and this gate, um, through which... And easy exit is given to true shadows, so that true dreams that come out of the underworld go through this particular gate. Um, the other one, um, gleaming with, uh, well, so the other one, having been completed and gleaming with gleaming um, ivory. So it's a difference between just kind of plain horn and, and ivory. But um, this other one sends, uh, uh, but the manes, the shades of the underworld, send false dreams to the sky through this one. So when um, the spirits of the underworld send kind of dreams or shadows or stories out of the underworld, the true ones go out of the, the horn one, and the false ones come out of the ivory one. Um, and then... With these words having been said, so Anchises has just finished all his words, um, Anchises um, follows his son and together the Sibyl, and he sends them out of the ivory gate. So there's a huge debate, like, why they leave out of that gate, and there is kind of speculation that once Aeneas has left... He's not going to remember what happened in the underworld, so he can then, um, it'll happen, but he won't remember that he was told about it ahead of time. But they leave out of the ivory gate, which is the gate through which false dreams are sent out of the underworld.